quality and the level of street art today, I think, you know, this, this stuff rivals anything that you can see in any museum. And in fact, we're starting to see a movement from, uh, you know, street art on the streets to street art in museums. There are artists like Banksy who have gathered international recognition. So artists like Banksy make this topic really interesting. Uh, also, the art market recognizes graffiti art as a type of art form that has value that's marketable. So I think this is a really relevant topic and it's really timely to be discussing these issues. We wanted to do this event because graffiti art and street art has become very prevalent in the world and especially in New York and Miami because there's lots of graffiti artists that are making their name and becoming in vogue. And we wanted to shed some light on it and get people more acquainted with the topic. So we see the um, famous artist Zafir tagging a subway car and they're really like all over the city, inside and outside. One critical issue with street artists and with many artists generally is um, uh, controlling who uses your artwork. Um, if you're a street artist and let's say Disney uses your street art in an, in an advertisement for you know, a princess castle, I think that could be potentially damaging to a street artist that's you know, at least attempting to try to maintain some credibility. However, there are also other issues such as the illegality of works when works actually vandalize someone else's property. Um, so I think there, there's some overlap, but there are also some very distinct issues that face graffiti artists. Art is a big part of New York City and it's a huge cultural event in Cardozo as well.